Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Gear Guide for Men. Uh, it's been a few weeks and I wanted to jump into something that uh, I thought everyone should really be aware of. And uh, this is going to be car care. It's going to be car care and how to stop using Armor All. Um, this product dates back to the 70s and 80s, or I should say the problems with this product dates back to the 70s and 80s. Um, and I actually first came to know about the issues from somebody that I really didn't trust. So bear with me and keep in mind that I actually was for Armor All before I found all of this out. Basically, the story is that Armor All is a car protectant, but the problem is that it's a silicone based product. And I'm no scientist, but basically the silicone and whatever components are inside of the product end up breaking down the vinyl or plastic or whatever you're using it on in and around your car. This means that the plastic sidings around your car are, could fade or get cracked. The tires, the rubber in them can thin out. And there's been mechanics that have even said that within one year, a car, a tire that's been consistently used with Armor All has suffered from dry rot and could be punctured with a fingernail. Do you really want to be driving around on that? I didn't think so. So, long story short, Armor All is something that you really just don't need to be using these days. In the 70s and 80s, the plastics that were used in vehicles didn't have the UV protection that's being used today. So what happened is people turned to car care products like Armor All. And yes, it did its job. It provided a nice shine and seemed like it was protecting it. But over time, because of the silicone um, and because it kept absorbing everything that you kept putting into it, the vinyl and plastics actually kept getting thinner and thinner and would eventually just crack. There's numerous reports of dashboards just cracking, vinyl seats just going to shreds and becoming brittle. Um, so it, it's something that you guys should not be using these days. It's not necessary. You really just need to be using just water. Um, using just water also cuts down on the film or residue that Armor All men leave behind. And the reason why that's good is not just because you don't want that grease, it's because it also doesn't attract the uh, dust and debris that might be floating in the air that makes it look dirtier faster than just if you were to just use regular water. Now, I know that water doesn't have the, uh, the, the, the strongest um, cleaning components, but if you really have to use a product, just make sure you go with something that's not silicone based. Um, there are other cleaning products out there that you are able to use. I'm no mechanic. I'm not even a car guru, but this is just something that I've come to know after multiple different vehicles and talking to different mechanics, car shop owners, and just car buffs in general that Armor All, you're really going to want to stay away from. And uh, that way you'll actually extend the life of the products in and around your car. So just want to share that with you guys. Hopefully you guys will uh, be able to take that and use it. Um, and if you have ever used Armor All and had any issues with it, please go ahead and leave a comment below. All right, take care, guys.